Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at Bauma with the Perkins team in Hall A4336. And here's Paul, Paul, we were here at Bauma before. We were. Now we're back again and this is one of the stars of the show here on the stand, isn't it? What have we got in front of us? Yep, so we've got our new 2606, the 13 litre engine, so our new engine. Um, this engine is our you know, engine that can replace our current range of 13 litre, 15 litre and 18 litre product. It has the power to cover that complete range yep. from 340 kilowatts all the way up to 515. So yeah, really exciting to have that here at Baumarin to show it to you. So let's talk about some of the key features of the front end. What have we got here? Well, actually one of the key features of the front end is there's less at the front end. <laughs> so, uh, you know, as we get around, we'll get around there. But, you know, one of the big features of this engine is we moved to a rear gear train. It helps with the noise, it helps with the packaging, it helps with the performance of the engine. Um, so it really does simplify down the front end. You know, we've got the normal parts on there, we've got the damper, we've got all the accessories. We've really simplified the mounting, again, about noise, about simplification, make it easy for the OEMs to install. Yep. Um, but really, actually, the front end is not a lot here, which is a really big improvement. So, folks, we need to go this way, so follow us round. So, Paul, as we come round here, you know, talk to us about some of the, yeah. the elements that we've, we've got bolted on here. Well, so there's a lot of important bits here. So just, just behind you there, yep. we've got our uh, fluids module. So this is our oil filter in here. Right. You know, again, it's a big thing on this engine is about sort of simplification, about um, you know reducing down the possibility of things like oil leaks. So yep. fluids module there is a great example. We've got rid of a load of the joints, simplified things down, and it just makes it simpler, lower maintenance, easier for the OEMs to, and the end users to service on that. So you just, right. just pull the cap off, right pull the filter out, clean, easy, less waste, more sustainable. You know, all those different things. Fantastic, what have we got here? Then move on to the air system. So we've got our turbocharger, uh, you know, we've got electronic wastegate control on it. You know, this is one of the building blocks that allows us to hit that whole range to get between the, the 340 and the 515 kilowatts yep. by having this air system on here. Um, it's a variable geometry turbo as well. So, you know, we've got that full level of control and can do all the different things within the air system to give us that power range and allow us to replace those, those three current ranges of engines that we have today. It's all about power, folks, and I think this is what's really important when you look at these sort of things. Smaller engine, you can put it in a machine. However, that machine can be smaller, but as powerful. This is the critical thing, isn't it? It is. It's building the power density, you know, increasing the power density of our engines, um, you know, simplifies things down for the OEMs, also simplifies for the end user. You know, they can have a range of machines using the same engine, same filters, the same spares same service intervals you know that's another thing on this that we've increased the service intervals as well you can get up to a thousand hour service intervals wow, on this engine. thousand hours so paul difference. the thing is you said the front end there's no front end let's go and see the back yeah. end or whatever the front or back end i don't know where are we now paul this is where it all happens isn't yeah it? so yeah. this is the yeah the back of the engine so you know kept the familiar interface that we have in terms of flywheel housings flywheel interfaces that our customers are used to the so same uh hookup points but yeah, it's moved to a rear gear train. So the gear train that's traditionally been on the front of our engines, we've moved to the rear. It makes a big difference in terms of the stiffness of the block and how we can you know, stiffen things up to reduce noise, and then, but still allow the customers to have the same interfaces. But yeah, this is a big change for this engine. Very similar to our 900 series engine yep, that yep. we also got here on the stand. Another rear gear train engine as well. And it's all about noise, all about performance. And uh, you know, just making things simpler for the customers. By, by reducing noise, you can get rid of sound deadening out the machine, but also the operator using the machine just gets a nicer place to work. You know, it's their office. So Absolutely, yeah, why critical. The is good. And the operators do have a lot of power when we talk about what people are gonna buy, you know, because yeah. the operator is king inside that machine. And I think what's really interesting is we come finally around this side of the engine is actually when we look at an engine like this, it's all about not just power density, but it's all about getting every bit out of that drop of yep. fuel, isn't it? it and is. that's critical. It is, getting the performance out of it, getting the most efficiency out of it. You know, we've really worked hard on how, how we make this engine as efficient as possible. We're seeing some really large fuel consumption savings over our previous engines, just by really working, optimizing it, moving to like the common rail fuel system that we have on here. Um, looking at, as I mentioned, on the air system side of it as well, you know, all that optimization, all the learning that we've had over our past 90 plus years of Perkins, going into this new engine, into this new product, really trying to see how we can extract the maximum efficiency, the maximum power from the smallest possible package. So we've walked in a circle, folks, and you may notice there's a circle here because there's more to Perkins than just the engines. It's all about maintenance, all about performance. There's apps. There's all sorts of different technologies there as well, Paul, isn't it? That's to help people make this engine and all of the range work really hard for them. It is. It's, you know, 
getting the engine, installing the machine as the first user is just the start. You know, you've got that sort of uh, life cycle of the, of the machine and the engine and looking after it. You know, we have our telematic systems, allows us to see how the engine's operating in the real world, allows us to sort of look at any, um, you know, things that are happening to it and whether any maintenance is needed, any service, be a bit more proactive on those sort of things. We also have things like our uh, platinum protection where we can look after that and help the, you know, take away some of the concerns that the, uh, the end user would have about their engine and really make sure that they're you're comfortable over the life cycle of it, making sure the servicing's been done, making sure that uh, you know it's looked after and they minimise downtime, which is what it's all about. And that's why, folks, you need to come to Hall A4 and see the Perkins team with Paul and his colleagues ready here at Bauma waiting to tell you all about not just the engines, but some other things that I'm going to see shortly. Thanks very much, Paul. Great to see you. Thanks, Peter.